Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today at Red Town for their home match against Bedlington Terriers, who are currently sat 11th in the league. Uh, they've lost both their last two games, conceding nine goals in their last two. Uh, so still, I don't think, I think we pretty sure they've won a game all the season. I think, they have, I think they've only just won one. Uh, they've got actually got new goalkeeper Will Cowie, who used to play for Red Kovac uh, for one month last month. Season from Gisborough, he's just joined the police from Mask United. Um, good player, good keeper, is a well. Uh, we'll see how the game goes. Um, but we'll have to look at it. It's absolutely freezing out here uh, tonight. Uh, we'll just be like other games like Grange Town will play. We're going to play Billingham Town tonight. Um, that got called off. Uh, this game, the pitch actually looks really good to be, uh, to, you know, tonight. Uh, so the Cummins have done really well. Um, let's see how the game goes. Early into the second half, now it is 1 0 to Redcliffe Town. Alex Bruin on the, uh, with the goal, uh, good finish. Uh, Ninga and Canberra, uh, just got out of time. But, uh, that was good, that's, uh, good start to the second half. Really, uh, we'll see how the game goes. <laughs> Bedlington equalised. Carl Williams, a former Redcliffe Town player striker, with the goal. Uh, from the uh, just past the halfway line, keeper was well, Will Cowie was well off his line and it went right into the back of the net. Uh, it just had to be him, it had to be him, didn't it? Uh, uh, they've been absolutely sleeping in uh, Red Good Town. Um, uh, they've been quite sleepy, really. Uh, Red Good Town is, and uh, Carl Williams just took advantage of the keeper off his line and it's gone straight to the back of the net. So we'll see what happens now. Yay! 2-1 Red Kadon just stopped from the penalty spot. Come on, it's not too long left now. Let's see if they can hold on for the win. Right, guys, I'm joined here by the goal scorer of Red Kadon's first goal tonight, Alex Bruton. Thank you very much for joining me, Alex. What did you think of the game, mate? Yeah, it was a good game. We'll take the win. It was a bit, bit scrappy here and there. Um, glad to score and win a penalty. But I think it ended up being the better side overall. It's been a tough start to the season, such a big win tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, we needed, the, to be fair, we needed the three points, we're in the wrong end of the table and we've got a great squad together, we should be doing a lot better than what we're doing at the minute, but hopefully that three points can kick us on a bit. And uh, how do you think the squad, the team can do this season now? I think if we get a few wins together, I think we can really have a push, but um, we've got a few fixtures coming up that we can win and we've got, we've got some good lads coming through, so we'll see what happens. Thank you very much for that. Oh, actually, the manager wanted me to mention this. Of course, uh, what about the red card having to Jay, for Jamie Lee in the, last week against uh, FC Hartley? Yeah, it's, it's, it's good to keep 11 men on the pitch, obviously. But, um, we've had a few red cards over the past few weeks, which has killed us. But no, we'll take that. Take the three points today anyway. Yeah, thank you very much for that, mate. Right, guys, I'm joined here by uh, the Bedlington Times goal scorer, Carl Williams, now coming the record at the periods make on my channel for the fourth time. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, Carl. How are you doing, mate? Oh, four, four times. I feel blessed. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, lucky me. But no, I feel a little bit disappointed, obviously, uh, to come away with a loss today. Uh, I, feel, I feel like we were a little bit unlucky, if I'm honest. Especially, obviously, the penalty at the end for them. Um, and I think um, I think we were a bit unfortunate not to get the penalty ourselves um, at the end there where Matty's went down. So I, th I think a draw might have been a fair result today, at least. And obviously, coming up against your former club, you seem to love to score here, don't you? I do love to score here. Yeah. Uh, I love to score in general, um, but yeah, I do. I do. You know, I enjoy. I enjoyed that one. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm good mates with a lot of the lads, um, and it was nice to catch up with them um, after the, the full time whistle went there, and you know, patting us on the back. Um, like it's a cracking set of lads um, that they've got here. Um, but you know, I've got. A, I'm, I'm at a new team, new challenge. Um, you know, I've got a cracking set of lads at Bedlington here now as well. Who, you know, we're all workhorses, and everyone's grafted there for each other and grafted for the manager and stuff. Who's who's been spot on with me since I've come in. Um, but I think we were just a little bit unlucky there. A bit good. How have you been finding it so far at Bedlington? Uh, it's it's results-wise, it's been tricky, but we're building on performances. Um, I think that's I think genuinely think that's the, the hardest we've all worked for each other. That's the best we've done as a team there. I think we've been a little bit unlucky, like I say conceded a penalty at the end there uh, and, and I think we're unfortunate not to get one ourselves but uh, yeah we've got to move on to the next game now and try and get three points in. What's the club, what's the club's aim? Uh, well we're sat in 11th um, you know we're sat mid-table like the, the set of lads that we've got there is a cracking set of lads so much potential uh, so much pace and power and um, you know we're looking upwards 
um, you know, a um, little bit gutted not again on the others uh, um, playing on a Friday, but like the like the aim is to, to try and get into that last playoff spot. But um, you know, un being unfortunate tonight, it's made it a little bit harder. But you know, we'll, we'll bounce back, um, and we, we just we've got a lot of effort there from the lads, and we've just got to put it into the next game, I think, um, and offer that three points and go for it. Thank you very much for that, mate. All the best. Thanks, mate. Right guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks you to both Alex and Carl for the interviews. Carl's always amazing, really love having him on. Great to see him again. Obviously, like I said in the interview, he is now the record appearance maker on my channel with four appearances. He's always just really good. Honestly, the same to him afterwards, uh, just, you know, always a pleasure to have him on because he's just fantastic at interviews. I mean, that was, um, I've looked up, I've up it's over two minutes long and that's just brilliant. Obviously, whenever someone... I do try and get a different, as many different players on as possible, but he's just always really good for interviews. And obviously, when I get someone so good for interviews, I do try and get them as much as possible. Um, I think it's just better for users. Well, um, but Carl's just fantastic. Really, is very well spoken. Um, so yeah, thank you once again to Carl. Always a pleasure. Uh, great to see him. And uh, yeah, best of luck to Bedlington. For the rest of the season, the manager Stephen Pickering, it's Stephen Pickering who uh, has been on our channel before uh, last season for Brandon United when he was managing Brandon United. Um, what was who know? Well, no, a bit. What was who know about the Northern League social media? Well, know a fair bit about Stephen Pickering. Um, I'm not going to go into that. But, uh, best of luck to him as well. He's actually a really nice guy. But uh, if you know, you know. Um, fudge it, I'll say it. He, he uh he had a few words to say if he got sacked by um, Brandon United. We'll put it like that. Uh, but also, anyway, best of luck to him at all. And uh, everyone at Bed Res Res Bedlington. Uh, right, Fraser, Matthew Fraser as well. Uh, Carl mentioned in the interview he gets a family of Red Town, so best of luck to him too. Um, but yeah, that's been the video, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. So then, goodbye.